Okay, so today I have some news. Festy Feet from now on is going to be living downstairs because of one reason and one reason only. It keeps stealing all of my nachos. And yeah, it's, it's really annoying because Festy Feet ate all my nachos again and I bit into its face last time. Almost bit its tongue off and we had to, and it had to get a few stitches in its tongue. So yeah, poor Pesty Pete had a bit of an issue there. But now we'll be moving that Pesty Pete downstairs. Same with Tiger, because Tiger will also go up will also go downstairs. Because Tiger is also responsible for it. And I am gonna be explaining it in this video. Roll the intro, damn it. I said roll the intro! It's Donald's Discussions, Dingbats, with your host, Donald Trumpet. So yeah, it is a little bit stupid that Festy Feet has been eating my nachos this much to the point where I have to move it downstairs because my fridge is upstairs and that's where my nachos are. But yeah, Festy Feet will, will, will be away from my nachos for good because Festy Feet has been a bit of a nuisance with eating the nachos. I can't have one nacho with finding a cat in it, or at least cat fur, Ugh. or cat eggs. When Festy Feet lays its eggs in there, it's really annoying, and it's disgusting. Like, even more disgusting than that time where I tried to imitate one of them TikTok girls. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, that kind of sucked. Um, but, yeah, that was, that was really bad. I mean, I mean, it is pretty accurate, but, you know, it was probably a bit much information. But, yeah, anyway, Festy Feet is sort of like that. It's pretty disgusting when Festy Feet lays its eggs in my nachos and vomits, vomits up the nachos because it's eaten so much. Ugh, it's disgusting. Because then I have to clean up all the vomit and then shove the vomit into the bathroom. And specifically in the toilet. Right before Molly eats it, of course. Or Green Letter 3 Alien, because vomit is one of Green Letter 3 Alien's favourite snacks. But yeah, um, I, gotta, I gotta get that vomit away from Green Letter 3 Alien. Because when Green Letter 3 Alien eats vomit, it's disgusting. Especially when it mixes it with peanut butter. It's... <coughs> oh! oh! Oh, it's gross. But yeah, it was, it, it sucks. But yeah, I'm explaining this because Festy Feet, whenever you see Festy Feet again, Festy Feet is going to be moving downstairs. So whenever you see a video of Festy Feet, it'll either be outside or downstairs where the Skylanders and that are. So yeah, poor old Pesty will have to stay down there from, from now on. And I may give it a second chance, but I don't think I ever will. And, well, um, it, 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 it kind of sucks. Because it's gotten to this point. I like Pesty Pete, don't get me wrong. Festy Pete's a good kitty. But when it eats all of my nachos, it just gets really annoying. Like Green Letter 3 Aliens stealing my peanut butter, but in cat form and less annoying and it doesn't talk. Those are the key differences between Festy Feet and Green Letter 3. And I actually like Festy Feet. I don't like Green Letter 3 one bit. So yeah, it sucks. And, well, here is, here is some extra footage of me trying to train Festy Feet to use the kitty door. Oh, wrong way. This is a kitty door. You're supposed to go through it. You see? It's okay. Just go in, in. And good job, Pesty. Good job. Now come out. If you want to run out, come out. It's okay. There's an entrance for you. Here you go, Pesty. Come out. Hey, Pete. No, I'm not going to open it for you. You got to do it on your own, remember? So yeah, it kind of sucked. But yeah, you know, well, I'll have to do that every single day so Pesty Pete gets down there because I'm also moving its litter and its food and all of the stuff that it needs down there. So yeah, along with Tiger, 
Um, and I don't, who knows, maybe I'll let Molly visit. But yeah, from now on, Festy Feet will be downstairs. So yeah, see you guys later. I'm sorry to address this unfortunate news, and adios, typers.